Hello and a welcome back to New Week, New Game. Today's game is Tekken 8. I just recently purchased it. I've been meaning to get Tekken 8. And I thought about getting it as a pre-order so I can play it the day that it came out. But I chose instead to wait and get it later because there are a lot of great games that have been coming out this year that I was going to be getting into and uh, figured I'd be too busy with those games to play Tekken 8, which I was. It's very correct in that assumption. And uh, now that I have beaten Dot Hat Quarantine, I have one less game to play daily. So uh, now I'm just searching through, thinking of other games to play and make a series out of. And I still have Gundam Breaker 4. We're almost done with the story on that and about to get into the DLC. So there may be a period where I stop doing that. But I've also been wanting to get into a fighting game. I've been messing around with Soul Calibur uh, 6 off recording and playing that and uh, enjoying it. And then that made me want to get into Tekken 8. Also been watching a lot of Maximilian Dude. So getting back into just fighting games in general is something that I think I'm going to be doing. So that might be something we'll see on the channel as a series, me playing fighting games. I like story modes in fighting games as well. And it looks like they have a story. They have an episode which takes place during the events of the main story. So we'd probably do story mode first, and then character episodes for each character. So that's great. Our experience, each character story, separate from the main story, five fights each. And then there's the offline mode, of course, where we can do arcade quest, arcade battle, versus practice, Tekken Ball. I'm glad they brought that back. That was one of my favorite things to do. Tekken Ball and Tekken Bowl from Tekken Tag. I'm a big fan of, of Tekken. I really like fighting games. I played a lot of fighting games and a lot of RPGs growing up. And I had Tekken 3 as my first Tekken game to play that had Tekken Ball in it. And I remember playing that like crazy and just enjoying it and having fun playing against the computer, playing against friends who would come over. Uh, they had characters that you could unlock in there like Gon, which was just this little lizard guy. And uh, Dr. B which he would always like fall to the ground. I think he was supposed to be a drunken master type thing, but he couldn't stand for very long before his character just ah, and falls to the ground. <laughs> he was such a, a silly character, but I would always main Barong and Eddie Gordo. Those were like my two favorite characters to play as when I played Tekken 3. And then playing Tekken 4, I guess not a lot of people really liked Tekken 4, but I enjoyed it. I lost at it constantly. I think Tekken 5 was the one I got most frustrated at when it came to the final boss because that was the one that had, um, what was it, Heihachi's dad at the end? Jin's grandpa? Or no, Jin... Heihachi is Jin's grandpa. Jin, Jin's great-grandpa? Uh, and that was a, a irritating fight. Uh, the Tekken Tag games were always great. I played Tekken Tags 1 and 2. Um, if you've... I'm not sure if I did this when I was streaming. Or if I did this while I had my YouTube. But I had... Uh, Tekken 1 on here. was playing 1 and 2. And showing you just kind of how these things were mainly arcade games. That were designed just to eat your quarters. So they were very difficult. And I just had a very hard time at doing anything. But I'm going to just explore around here on the map and see what they got going on because they have these like avatar systems. Like they got this Tekken Fight Lounge. Join the Tekken Fight Lounge where you can fight and communicate with players from around the world. Then we can do rank, quick, player match. And of course there's the leaderboards. Uh, all the things down here. They have a Tekken shop where you can use Tekken coins which I'm assuming is going to be like a Fortnite V-Bucks type thing to purchase other stuff. So I'm going to check that out. Crocodile leather top hat. These all cost nothing. 
I've got 500 coins. I don't know what I can use them on. The general costumes pack, avatar, avatar items. So they almost look like the Xbox 360 avatars. But they also have character avatars where you can be like King and Devil Jin, and I think that's uh, Zhao Yu. I don't know. That's one of the new characters that I introduced here. I haven't gotten into what characters are available. I do have the fight pass. I mean, I took advantage of the sale to get the uh, ultimate edition. Mishima family armor pack. Vampire set and angel set. You can purchase that with the, the coins. Wildfire pack. There's a ninja pack. Shinobi pack wonderful wrestler pack that's cool i know they did a lot of uh a new japan pro wrestling crossover in the last game and i think that's what they're gonna do this time around too diva vacation grim reaper seductive outlaw biker mad biker seems like they have like a male and female counterpart thing cyber pack one and two Eddie's costume, that's old school Eddie right there. It's like Tekken 3 Eddie. Elias in this, Lars, Lee, King, Barong, Yoshimitsu, Lily, Asaka, Steve, Law, giving him the white with the black stripes, the old Bruce Lee outfit. Nina, Jin, June. Oh, June's in this. Kazuya, Zhaoyu. June is Jin's mother. And then here is some avatar items. Want to walk around like a shark or a chicken or a tiger? Some summer fun time stuff. All the different uh, character <laughs> ones that they have in here. Lee looks weird. He looks like he's got like a cyber robot. Victor must be a new character. There's character customization, player customize. You can do a jukebox, change the background music that plays during stage while selecting a character in other locations. I'm curious if, oh, you can pick uh, old school, other Ch Tekkens too. New Tekken 7, Tekken Revolution. <sighs> Which one was that? Was that that online PlayStation 3 one? Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Tekken 6, 5, 4, Tekken Tag Tournament 3, 2, and 1. And then there's my playlist. I think it just lets you do uh, all the Tekkens. And all the Tekkens sounds like a great thing to just shuffle up, play all the Tekken songs. I have played every single Tekken game. I own physical copies of uh, Tekken's 1, 2, 3, Tag 4, 5, 6, and Tekken Tag 2. Uh, Tekken Revolution was like a free-to-play type thing that they had on PlayStation 3. I remember playing that. And then I don't think it's even available anymore. Uh, Tekken 7, I got digital. Tekken 8, digital. And then Tekken X Street Fighter, which isn't on here. Um, I got that digital. I'm thinking about getting physical copies of these games. Not really caring about getting kind of like the DLC and all the extra stuff for it. But, uh, save an exit. You can actually change the character too that you see in the background. Which I'm not sure where I do that. We'll find it later. I kind of want to get into doing a fight. Arcade quests progress through an exciting story set in game arcades with you as the main character while learning about Tekken 8 battles. And there's arcade battle, fight consecutive battles with ghost and CPUs, eight battle tutorial or eight battles total. Where's that where it says like beginner? There's this, this Tekken Fight Pass that's over here in the corner. What's up with Tekken Fight Pass? So it's gonna tell us. Oh, it's a season, it's a battle pass. <laughs> they added battle passes to Tekken, oh joy. That was the one thing that Tekken just did not have that I really wish they had was a battle pass. The Tekken Fight Pass features offers of a variety of rewards for playing the game. For instance, playing online will help you increase your fight pass level. 
earning you corresponding rewards. The higher the level you reach with purchase of a premium pass, you can earn even more rewards. By upgrading your Tekken Fight Pass to a premium pass, you will earn rewards that are exclusive to the premium pass. On top of your original Fight Pass rewards with premium pass plus, you can enjoy not only the benefits of a premium pass, but boost to your fight pass. So are there three different ones? Yeah, fight pass to a premium pass. And then premium pass plus. It's getting kind of out of hand at some point, right? Your fight pass level can be increased by building up fight pass experience. Fight pass experience is earned by playing in certain online modes and completing missions. In addition, you can upgrade to a premium pass. You can directly purchase levels for your fight pass. Yes. So a lot of this is to do with online. It looks like they're really pushing people to do online stuff. I wasn't really big into doing online. I was perfectly fine just fighting the CPU. Having a fun time doing that. Going through doing stories and things like that. Like that's the big reason I would play fighting games. I'm also going to put out there that I'm not like a super good fighting game person. I like fighting games. I'm not great at them for the most part. I'm more of a, a button masher and that's what other people have called me. I don't really know all the combos. I will play a character and I'm never really like stuck with just one character. So I have mains that I like, like I said, with Harong and Eddie Gordo, but I'm fine with like switching over and playing somebody else. I can go Lodge in Heihachi, Kazuya, it doesn't matter. Steve Fox, I play Steve Fox. He's kind of a... Uh, a character that I feel like though you really gotta so there's 60 levels I only got seven days maybe I'll pay more attention to it when uh, the next one rolls around but I didn't see anything that really caught my eye uh, let's just go do an arcade battle or an arcade quest I guess we'll do an arcade quest oh there we go little avatar guys Plenty of smiles and sounds of buttons clacking. I'd imagine a lot of swearing too, but I guess that just depends on where you're at. Words become redundant when simply playing a match together tells a thousand tales. And now another player looks to make their mark on the scene. Is that player me? I thought about getting into doing something competitively. I think fighting game would probably be the competitive one I would go into over a shooter. I'm not bad at being at shooting games, but I, I can't see myself taking it serious on all honesty. Fighting games, I really don't feel like I take serious. I just enjoy watching the combos and everything flowing together. Where's your pal at? Oh, I didn't even read that. I'll go look for him. You guys head on without me. Okay, see you in there then. <laughs> cool, I'll be there when the tourney starts. Okay, where could he be? Are we Max or is the player they're looking for? Me! Yo, where you at? This place packs gonna be a nightmare. Tell you what, let me know what you're wearing today and I'll come look for you. Oh, then it's gonna be me, huh? This is where I get to dress myself, and he wants to know what I'm wearing. <laughs> in avatar customization, you can change the appearance of your avatar in the lounge in Arcade Quest. There are all kinds of items, such as face, hairstyles, and clothes, so feel free to create the look you like. You can always change your appearance later. Store up to 10 looks for your avatar. The avatar you use in the lounge is the one registered as your main avatar. You can switch your main avatar using the slot screen shown in this image. You can use fight money to buy items for your avatar to equip or get more by playing in-game modes like arcade quests. More items means more ways to express yourself. Get more items and find an outfit that suits you the best. So at least you can get like fight money for it. Is there a randomize button though? Cause like a randomize button would be really nice. I like randomizing stuff. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, it looks like me. Got the chin. Just like the real pointy chin they got going on. I got a really fat face. One of these is like my eyes. Sometimes I find myself like looking like I'm pissed off. But, but not as bad as like this pissed off. <laughs> not like I got frowls in the eyebrows. It's just like I'm focusing on something. I'm just gonna go with number one. And uh, almost like that, a little like less less wrinkly, but you know, in that in that tone. Here we go, face outline. Where's my chubby face? That's like my chubby face right there. Ah, that's big chin and jaw. Uh, I think like this, bit of a bit of a pointy chin, but still a fat face. Uh, skin tone. I look like that. I'm very, very much actually an Oompa Loompa. Uh, oh, there we go. Green. I'm the Hulk. Now I'm She-Hulk. Uh, pale. I am so pale. We want to go with, like, palest. Maybe not quite that pale. I'm like this pale. If I could glow radioactively, that would be me. Eye color. We got blue eyes. Yeah, like, light blue eyes. Like that. Hair. Now. There you go, that's the kind of hair I have. My voice matches this hairstyle, right? Uh, let's see. Swoop over. This is kind of how I do it. Sweat back. But it sometimes likes to fold right in the middle. Oh, there's not a whole lot of hair choices here. Sweat back it is. We could change the hair color. Change color, there it is. Kind of like an orange brown. Boom. Eyebrow color, also like an orange brown. I like guess more of a dark. I got black. Boom. Others, which is what? Facial hair? There we go. See if I can find me. There, it's kind of looking like it. Like that. Uh, change color. But it's a lot more orange. Like that. Motion. Ugh. Balls hurt when I stand like that. That bait is. Uh, anything else? No. So I'd really like to change my clothes out of the pink PJ bottoms that I'm wearing. There it is, clothes. Full face, I just covered my whole face. All that work I just did, let's just get rid of it. I look like a Buddha. That venom? They can't say it's venom, but... Come on. Oh, uh, you do a Tekken beanie. Tekken hat? Yeah. Glasses, yeah, I'll do that. Where's my glasses? Those are my glasses. Oh yeah. Change the color. Give him black. Alright. On well, the entire body, that's right, I can just be a character. Could be Jin, could be Kazuya, could be June. Could be Kin Kinjin. It's like Mokujin. It's like King Mokujin. They had quite a few characters that were just like characters that used everybody's move sets, but it was random each round that you play. Let's put me in a dress. I've looked absolutely beautiful. Uh, Gi, button downs. I'm usually like rocking a graphic tee of some kind. So kind of graphics tee you got? Kings. Tekken, Tekken. It's a suit. I would rock suits though. I would feel like I'd wear it. It's just like summer and springtime. I don't want to wear a suit. If you're going to wear a suit, you got to like dedicate yourself as the suit guy. That's a Tekken 3. Kazuya's weird looking face from Tekken 2. Hey, all right. That's pretty nice too. Uh, d d uh, I don't. I don't wear these kinds of shirts though. I like to hide that I'm a pervert. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna go to Tekken Three. Jin right here, and my shirt is black most of the time. Lower body, more of a shorts person, but and not not that short though. Like there's things falling out of me if I'm wearing that. Uh, let's go a little. Wouldn't wear anything underneath that if I was wearing this. I just let the breeze throw through. Um, also, normally just him rocking BJ Bottoms. Or just chilling at home in boxers. But, this, this is a game, so we're not gonna... I don't wear any of these types of things. Just go back to, like, jorts here. Old daddy jorts. I'll just do some black pants. <sighs> Slim fit just, like, hurts. Mm, let's do denim. Black denim. I'll do it a little lighter, though. Uh, shoes. If I'm not wearing these croc knockoffs that I have just to go outside and take out the trash, then I'm usually rocking 
like regular old shoes nothing super fancy or super special they were like running shoes that i got to do just that to go and work out and run in because i only owned boots before that i think it's gonna be these ones you know what the color on them perfectly fine it's a nice color accessories i wish i could pull off that look and be the guy who wears these big old headphones around their neck i got too fat a neck though so like i can i'm limited in turning at that point I put this on, it's just a choker at that point. Can't have it. Uh, sweatbands. I will wear a sweatband. I know this says wristband, but that's no. If you see one around my wrist, it's not for viewing pleasure. It's because I'm, I'm sweating profusely. Because I, I walked a long distance, or it's hot outside, or it's thinking about what I'm going to eat for dinner. It just causes amounts of sweat. I don't know what's going on with that. Do that, and you know what it is? It's black. It's black and white. Uh, accessory two, I don't care for. We're good. We're good there. We're going to finish editing. That is that is me. Save and exit. That's what I look like on a daily basis. Usually there's a house surrounded around me because I don't go outside. Oh, hey, look. There's my friend. There you are. I was starting to think you weren't going to show. Man, my heart's beating like crazy. You could feel the electricity in the air. We've all been waiting for this game to drop for what feels like forever in a day. I'm shaking with excitement just thinking about finally being able to play it. You seen my, any free machines? See any free machines? People just rocking their bike helmets. Those two guys in bike helmets talking to each other. Yo, there's one. Oh man, this is it. Tekken 8 at last. Oh, hold up. Did you play any of the previous games? Uh, for beginners, play all of the tutorials. Is this your first time playing Tekken? Play only the most important battles. We're just gonna skip tutorials. We don't need tutorials. I don't know how to launch their special attacks, but I don't need a damn tutorial. Tell me how. So what do you think of Tekken? Is Tekken 8 aggressive in the name of the game? You're in for some spectacular fights. Why would Tekken 8 be aggressive, maybe? Oh, I almost forgot. There's a tournament that only the most famous players are invited to. The special Tekken 8 tournament has reached its climax. Will Orochi and Blade walk away? Oh, that's a different character altogether. The winner will receive special invitation to complete the Tekken World Tour Master event. Hold on to your hats and get ready for the next battle. I was about to say, is gonna make me fight. He dresses like Kazuya, he plays as Kazuya. That was intense and an incredibly display of skill. Our new champion is Orochi. Jeez, that wiped the floor with that opponent, or with their opponent. So, Orochi, any comment on your big win today? I'm here for one thing, to become number one in the world. I'll crush everyone who stands in my way to the top. That speech sends shivers down my spine. Maybe one day we can be up there basking in the spotlight. Hey, did you hear? They've got Tekken 8 at Gong now. Gong? For real? Well, the tourney's over now, so we should go check it out. Alright, let's head back to Gong and give it a try. Go! This is just like a local arcade spot. Main opponents are first dance, second dance, and strategists. As a small arcade where beginning players gather, the community centered around Max is busy competing and sharing information. Looks like it finally rolled out the brand new Tekken 8 today. Let's go. Let's go see. Hey, you're here. I mean, I walked with you over here. Oh, someone different. 
The game just dropped. Man, I love the scramble after a new release to find out who the strongest characters are. Everything feels so fresh and new. Which character should I go for? Let's hurry up and play already. That's what I've been waiting on. Give me a holler when you want to get started. I'll teach you what moves you want to use with your characters. They don't call me Max the Tekken something something. The Tekken son of a bitch for nothing. Uh, Max just got his hat. And first timer in a Mokujin plate. Uh, Mokujin health gauge. And Mokujin panel, which all looks wonderful. Chapter 1, New Friendship. Oh, yeah, regular arcade games over here. Can I play these? Just like spun around these guys. Woo! Woo! We gotta go say hello to Max. Alright, Max, talking to you. Great, let's do it. Pick a character you want to fight with. Now, come on, challenge me. Let's see who we have as options for characters. All right, starting our top left, we got Eddie Gordo. We have Claudio. He was a recent character. Zafina, also a recent character. Paul Phoenix, a classic character. Raven from Tekken 5. Victor, I think he is one of the new ones for this series. Rania, she's a new one for this series. Fighting style unknown, nationality unknown. Is she unknown from Tekken Tag? Azucena, mixed martial arts striker. She does a lot of dancing. Comes from Peru. Uh, I think she's a new one too. Shaheen. Shaheen was just in, I want to say seven. He was six or seven is when they introduced Shaheen. Law, classic character. Is this Marshall or Forrest? This looks like it might be... Marshall, I think, is the youngest one. The one that was in Tekken 3. Leroy. Leroy was in the last game. I liked using him. Blind Wing Chun user. Leo. He was... God, was he last game or Tekken 6? Lydia. I don't see, I don't remember. I don't... I, feel like she's a new character. I could be wrong, though. Heihachi. Classic Heihachi. Panda and Kuma. Oh, they separated them. Okay, so they're not in the same thing. Heihachi-style advanced Kuma Shinkin. And then Heihachi-style advanced Kuma Shinkin. They use the same. Ah, uh, Suka. She was Tekken 5. Lee, he's been around a while, too. Uh, Xiao Yu, classic character. Jin, Tekken 3. Kazuya, classic character. Nina, classic character. Got her own spin off game. Horong, classic character. Actually, no, because it was his master who was in the other one. So I think Tekken 3 is when he came in. Feng, he was Tekken 4. Five, four, five. He's got a golden fist now. Uh, Yoshimitsu, classic character. Can even find a Yoshimitsu in Soul Calibur. And and Kuma, I want to say we're three. Lily, she came in around five or six. Elisa, I think was six. Same with Lars. Lars and Elisa came in and do a game, and they're kind of like the story revolved around them. June, was she Tekken two? I think was June. Devil Jin, he was I'm trying to think. There's cutscenes of him in three. But I, I don't think they used him as a character in three. I can't remember if he was a character or not. There's a jack in every game, and they are always amazing. His fighting style is brute force. King, classic character, different person being king. Little legacy wrestling going down the line. No Maverick, this one, or Merrick, the other wrestler guy. Boxing Steve. Drakonov, which was... Was he Dark Alliance when he originally came in? Was it the PSP one, or he could have just been five? 
Ryan Fury. It's from three. All right, let's get Harong Taekwondo and get moving. Get ready for the next battle. She's gonna cut me. Same character element. He's got like a a dummy. That's cool if you could use that. Heat burst and heat smash. I don't want to do any of these. Quit tutorial. Yeah, I don't want to do the tutorial. I want to actually play the game. After learning something new, you should put into practice. Fight me right now. Try out the heat system. Get ready for the next battle. Achieve a perfect victory. We just got that. Fight. Oh yeah. It's a lot of bonus money. Back to the arcade. Activate heat and unleash a heat smash. That's a surefire way to earn yourself a victory. Oh yeah, I forgot to introduce you to the gang. This is the crew that makes Gong the place to be. You're a Tekken head like the rest of us now, after all. One of us. One of us. I'm beat. Nice to meet ya. I'm pretty new to Tekken too, but I can't get enough of it. I'm all about using stylish moves, putting on a show, you know? Anyway, who do you mean? Hi, I'm Prim. I love how you can show off your personality in Tekken with the character customization feature. With customization, you can show off how you're feeling to others. I call that a win. Sup, name's Nick. Good luck, newbie. I'll fight you anytime you want. <laughs> Looks like another sucker wandered in. It'll be a nice chance to rack up my rank points with an easy win. I'm a regular gong, which is the place to be for Tekken fans. Give me a few anything. Okay, I'm gonna go beat up this uh, Nick guy, though. Can I go fight Nick? Yo, let's fight. We could play a few sets if you got time. You know it. <laughs> Some easy wins for me. Oh, oh. Uh, Never mind. Challenger. Uh huh. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, Nick. Poor deluded bastard. Treasure box chance. When it comes to who talks the most, you definitely win. Round one. Fight. Up. And where's your where's your easy win at, huh? Look at that, at first and already. 
up and coming metal plate elegant panel bronze elegant health gauge bronze mokujin plate is it veteran mokujin yep in the veteran mokujin set rank can be and help you determine how strong another player is win enough matches and you'll be promoted show everyone just how tough you are by reaching the higher ranks ranks change for every character uh, each character separately sometimes a exclamation park will appear after defeating another player or getting promoted this mark means that you can continue to the next installment of the story talk to the player with the exclamation to continue the story the story will follow the highest ranking character you are currently using and we got leather shoes leather up ties back to the arcade I think I went a little too easy on you oh, I'll go again guy you really battled your way to promotion congrats your rank is an indicator of your skill keep it up and something will happen you got a feel for using heat smash now sure do onward to the next step let's practice an air combo that uses heat smash no let's not do that Tekken just wouldn't be Tekken without air combos keep this training in mind while you make your rounds around the arcade stylish Tekken recommended move notes will now be disabled during battle all right and bam i think everybody just has oh well he's got a treasure chest that other lady has a treasure chest there's a person sleeping over there those figures are just like floating across little small steps just hovering right on across be cool too if we had the other Tekken games in here I want to mind playing Tekken 3 again did I go here just battle if you sit on a Vega Tekken 8 machine you can fight all kinds of opponents fight rematches to quickly boost your rank the fight will end automatically once you meet the conditions to trigger the next event New challenger. oh we just got to go to second rank get ready for the next battle Should go fight the other friends to get whatever treasure chest they have. Round one. Fight. What happened to recommended moves are gonna be turned off. And they're down. Uh, to the arcade. We're gonna go fight those treasure chest people. See what they have. But I like this thing. Like, Tekken just went straight meta with it, huh? Like, you've got uh, Mortal Kombat, where they just essentially rebooted the series and went multiverse. Then you got Street Fighter that went... Hey, here's you as a Street Fighter character being trained by our veteran character class, and you can mix and match moves to make your own unique character. Tekken went, hey, it's an arcade game, and we know it's an arcade game. Everything you thought of the story? Arcade game. It's a story within a story now. And you can play as a character who plays this arcade game. These characters don't exist in reality. They're arcade game characters. Man, it feels so good to land a flashy move. Know what I'm talking about? Doesn't even matter if I lose as long as I can pull off at least one in the match. I'm gonna launch you into the sky. New challenger. It's a juggler. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, he's using Jack. Old brute force Jack man. 
Out. Can we get rid of these recommended combo things? Fight. I don't need all this over my screen. Second Dan. We got wing plates, wing plate, wing plates, cargo pants. Back to the arcade. Damn it, I'm just not on my game today. Looks like you really climb in the ranks. Speaking of which, I got something for you. It's another tutorial level. I was thinking about trying my hand at the tournament. You see, tournaments are way more fun than normal fights. A totally different kind of buzz. It's getting high over here. Wait, you're gonna enter the tournament too? Just so you know, tournaments are a whole other beast. Loosen up your shoulders. Take it from me. Bit of advice from a pro to a beginner. I bet you're nervous about entering the first tournament. But this is just a friendly competition. Focus on having fun. Say hello to Max. How about instead of doing that, we go talk to Prim. I always play longer when I've got a cool outfit for my character. Gotta show off how good I look, you know? Yay, thanks. I know you're going to love my outfit. I'm gonna judge her outfit harshly now. She plays Lily. Let's see what your outfit looks like. Let me see it. Eh. Round one. Yeah, that's what I say to your outfit. Get rid of this recommended combo crap. Activate heat five times. We got a cute knit top. Great. And we did missions for Max. And we get Gong as our profile customization. Alright, back to the arcade. So are you impressed or are you impressed? Well, if you're only giving me those two options. All right, uh, let's go. I don't know about fighting everybody here. Let's just talk to Max. Want to enter a tournament? Let's start a tournament. Great, looks like you're ready to go. Let's go ahead and get started. Man, I'm so hyped right now. Welcome everyone to GOG's first tournament since the launch of Tekken 8. Let me hear you make some noise. Yay. Let's get straight down to it. Players to the machines. To your machines. Feeling on edge? Take those nerves and use them as fuel to have a good time. Me against Marie and Panda. Hey, you're Max's friend, right? Hi, Marie. Nice to meet you. This is your first tournament, right? It's exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time, huh? 
Okay, let's fight. My character just doesn't say anything. Oh, she's fighter rank. Oh, 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 hopscotch. And now we're a fighter. All right. Now we're going to go against Babyface and King. Get ready for the next battle. Who's a strategist? Got him in the end, though. On to the next. Gonna go to get Katsuyusha in June. Get ready for the next battle. Also a strategist. I think everyone's just supposed to be a rank higher than I am. She appears. It's a ghost. Trigger 10 tornadoes, excluding offline player battles. Almost at strategist level. I'm gonna go get some Nick, Kurt, huh? Yeah, Nick and Steve. True already fought Nick. And let me guess, they're a strategist too, no longer a second Dan. Wow, so you made it all the way to the finals. Victory is as good as mine. Finals really set your nerves on edge, don't they? Eh. I'm gonna show you how you it's done, so get ready to take some notes. I can't. My hands are preoccupied. Get I can't take any notes. Oh, he's a combatant. 
Okay, even higher than the second Danny was. Promotion match. When it comes to who talks the most, you definitely win. Round one. Fight. Oof. Oof. Oh yeah. the middle of strategist and we're the wiener <sighs> congratulations very nice congrats on the wind and in your first tournament at that you some kind of natural born Tekken player for real, it's super amazing that you came out on top in your first ever tournament. I lost right after the bat, but I don't mind. I had a blast. <laughs> I can't believe I stumbled at the finish line. God, then there's that guy. Hey, you there. You're one of them took first place in the tournament. Orochi, was it? It's so cool that you'd come out to Gong. I was just leaving. Sorry for barging in on all you all. <laughs> Gotta go boo. I came hoping to find some competition, but it looks like I'm in the wrong place. You couldn't have come at a better place. Besides, you won't know for sure until you actually fight someone. It's like I've said before, I'm going to be the best in the world. And in order to make that happen, I need to fight serious matches bunch of people who only care about how cool their characters look and never try actually bleh, who prance around showing off moves they like and don't even care or cowards who shy away from matches they're afraid they'll lose I called all you guys out losers there's no one who I can fight for real and I don't have any interest in that you're wrong Tekken's all about playing however you want there's no such thing as real and fake I want to enjoy Tekken and for Gong to be a fun place to play it together with my friends. Looks like you're not getting it. You and me, we just don't see eye to eye. What are you talking about? We share the same passion and devotion for Tekken, don't we? If you're that serious about Tekken, then put your money where your mouth is. See if you can actually take in... Sure. I don't mind giving it a go if we battle there. Although I doubt that any of you will ever raise far enough. Let me get this straight. By your definition, anything less than the most serious of matches is fake, right? No, I don't buy it if someone enjoys Tekken. Eh. That's it. We're gonna enter the Tekken World Tour, too. Let's show Orochi what we're made of. It can be any goofball in an overcoat. Now that's what I'm talking about. The TWT is Tekken's biggest event, you know? To even be allowed to enter, you gotta win a lot. I know, that's exactly why we've gotta fight as many skilled players as we can. If we're going to get better, we'll need to battle lots of different opponents to gain experience. Now come on, it's time to head out. We're gonna knock Orochi down a peg or two. My character's just not cheering. That's like me. Fighter plate panel. 
plates and then folding fan plate and we got a million gold and a tournament trophy for our back there you go won the arcade quest gong tournament and we can go say hello to max but we're not going to do that we are actually going to end it i'm going to go back to the main menu i'm going to play this game more i just this is new week new game am i going to record myself playing this game probably not i don't i don't know yet i'm gonna do some battles maybe i will but it would probably be like uh no mic recordings and then i'll just put my voice over it uh maybe we'll do the story mode and then going back to like that arcade quest but like there's stories and episodes and character episodes i can see myself recording these uh going into online rank modes i don't know if i could let's go to the tekken fight launch real quick use tekken x new feature special style to easily master your favorite characters unique moves and combos even if you're new using your characters a lot of stuff in here that i just don't feel like reading no don't turn on special style please and ghost match while well, close to an avatar press x and select ghost match to battle a ghost created of that player's match data now then enjoy all the tech and fight lounges to offer online practice has been added to the tech and dojo what your skills against other players in the new mode cool all right no party effects change target match anywhere so we can go up to like these they're all in online battles right now that person must have won over there celebrating harada tekken thanks for playing we'll continue to work closely alongside the community and appreciate your encouragement and support so we can battle this guy wow rang. rang just call him harang Wherever's fine. Get ready for the next battle. What about the Hachi's Tekken Gold? I'm just a beginner. They <laughs> look just like that character. Round one. Fight. Ow. 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 Yep. Oh, so that's a rager. And he's out of here. Win. 
We have beaten a Tekken god. Come on, I don't think that rakes me up though. Turn to lounge. I probably just get the chest from beating him. What's in the chest? We got Tekken 30th character customization. Tekken 30th. Yep. Go. Oh. The Tekken series has reached its 30th anniversary. So how long have you been playing Tekken 4? Uh, whenever Tekken 3 came out. That's how long it's been. And then we got King of Iron Fist Heihachi over here. Uh, there's everybody in here. I want to play some of these other ones. These are like trainings for Tekken 8. Can I play ski ball? Play some basketball? Got any other Namco games around here? Is it just Tekken 8? Like how they have, they kind of have the same setup as like Street Fighter's got. But Street Fighter will also have like some classic Capcom games. Let's sit here. Can I order anything? No. They're just sitting there talking. Any minute now, I'd like you to take my order. You're just gonna sit there and chit chat. Hot dog sounds nice. Really could use a cool drink to refresh myself. Alright, fine. Oh, this is the fighter store. Yeah, customization. Shop. Or we can buy things. These clothes are clearly too big for me. Second shop, character customization, avatar customization, player customization. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that another time. But for now, I think we're good. We're, we're going to end this now. Will I get in and play people online? Maybe. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Oh, can we use the gotcha machine? No, no gotchas? Damn. And here's Tekken Dojo for practicing. Guess if you don't want to go in and play ranked. I'll go in. Go ahead, give me a losing streak. I don't mind. But yeah, that's, uh, that's that. That's Tekken 8 for you. I like it. I like this. This going around doing the arcade thing. That's really cool. I want to say they did something like this for one of the Dragon Ball games, like Dragon Ball Z Fighter. And they got this also for uh, Street Fighter as well. And so those are always cool. And I'm sure they've got events like this Heihachi being over here and uh, Harada Tech Enterprise events. But yeah, that that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.